to the computer. Perfect, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Welcome to the Sunday Leadership Call. I want to appreciate everybody who hopped on this call right now. Guys, like, you have no idea how important this is. Success is, the majority of success is literally just showing up. That's it. Most people can't even do that. Okay, so you guys being on this call today and communicating with, with your top leaders and other people in your organization on what you're doing and where you're trying to go and why you're doing it in the first place, that just means we're able to help you that much more get to where you want to go. I mean, guys, do what other people do. You'll get what, you'll get what they get every single time. So pay attention who you're paying attention to. Okay, so listen to people that have what you want, follow instructions and do the things that are going to help you get to where you want to go. So guys, I want to appreciate everybody who's on this call. Let's go through it. We've got Roman. Who's Roman? Roman, you're new. I don't know who you are, but welcome to the call. Santiago, Bob, Christy, Jared, Mason, Mitch. Heck yeah. Um, safe. We've got Santiago on here twice. <laughs> Sindel, Troy, Miguel. Awesome, guys. I appreciate all of you guys hopping on this call today um awesome guys so i'm not gonna waste anybody's time we do have a lot of information to cover which is why this call is so important which is why this call is so significant um i kind of spilled some information this past weekend when i was in cali to the cali squad so you guys got some information that we definitely went over um, but i'm gonna be breaking everything down into detail because guys a lot of this information i was able to learn um not just within the last week but within the last couple months several months from from really learning and taking myself outside my comfort zone and, and talking to other top leaders other top chairmen not only in this company but in the industry as a whole and i want to be able to share this with you guys because guys understand that building this business because everybody on this call we're trying to go chairman okay and please understand like i'm going to be talking i'm going to be kind of giving you guys some some perspective some insight not only from my own experience, but information that's going to help you guys get to where you're trying to go. And everybody who's in this chat right now, the chairman run chat, obviously we're trying to go chairman, but it's not about like people talk guys. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say this. There's a lot of talk. Okay. That's what people are good at talking about what they're going to do about what they want. But I'm going to just say this right now. Number one, everybody on this call should have a pen and paper in hand to a certain degree. And you should be taking notes and Austin Gazi talks talks about this all the time if you don't know who he is he's a chairman 100 inside of iMarkets live he's an absolute monster when it comes to building businesses and understanding what it means to use a system leverage a system and, and allow duplication to work 10 times harder than you so as your business builds for you okay you can use your system so you don't have to work as hard does that make sense that's the beauty of becoming an independent business owner you learn how to leverage not only other people but a system that that saves yourself time energy and money so I'm gonna go ahead and break down a few things for you guys um, it's really really gonna help you kind of get to where you want to go but a couple things that I'm gonna start off with okay so number one come in here with a pen and paper number two I'm gonna guys I'm gonna give you guys the raw the raw stuff the raw information the truth and the truth is a lot like poetry most people hate poetry okay so if you don't like what I have to say maybe this call isn't for you because I'm gonna give you guys the real nuggets the value that you guys need to hear in order to go to the next level because I want to say this really quickly life is gonna beat you down life is going to have you're gonna have immense setbacks the storm is coming for every single person on this call are you ready are you prepared for the storm? It's going to come in certain degrees for every single person. It's going to be different. Are you ready for that storm? Are you preparing right now? Because the setbacks that you're experiencing in your life right now is preparing you for that storm. It's preparing you for that next level because every next level, okay, every new level has a new devil. You guys ever hear that before? I used to have it written on my board up here, but every new level has a new devil. So whatever you're experiencing right now, stop dwelling on it. Stop living in fear and in doubt and in worry. You are in fear and doubt and worry because you're not moving. Move. Get up and do something with what your situation is happening, okay? Every setback is just a set up for a comeback. Remember that. Okay, remember everything happens for a reason. Remember every single day you wake up is a gift. If you're able to take your head off your pillow, you're, you have everything you need. You have the, all the capacity in the world to make shit happen for that day. Please understand that. Be grateful. Step out of bed and say, thank you. I'm alive. Let's go get shit done. Let's go bless a lot of people. Let's make this happen. I hope you guys are fired up because I'm extremely excited for the information. I'm going to go ahead and just break down for you guys. So understand every setback is just a set up 
for a comeback. Everything in your life happens for a reason. Every day you wake up is just another test. Okay, you guys are always gonna experience problems. And I'm saying, I'm starting off the call with this to give you guys the right mindset, to, to allow you guys to have that perspective and understanding that life is not just this cakewalk. Okay, life isn't, you know, supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be fair. Life has problems. You're gonna endure some crazy shit. You're gonna be like, what? How did that just happen? It, it's real, guys. We're not invincible. Anything can happen at any time. When you have that mentality, you're not going to get upset. Just like when you trade, right? You put in a trade and it goes the wrong way. You're upset. The only reason why you're upset is because you couldn't accept the potential loss. Okay? Calculated risk in life is what it's all about. Having that understanding and that mentality of anything can happen any time. I'm going to bet on me every goddamn day. That's got to be your mentality. Okay? So understand life is all about a series you know, choices. Every single day is a test. Pass that damn test. Find the lesson that you need to learn to get to that next level. Some of you guys are on this call, you haven't hit your first rank yet, or maybe you're trying to get to you know, P600, P1000, whatever it may be, right? We're all on our chairman run, but we gotta take it step by step. There's a process to this. You can't just go to you know, Platinum 2000, Platinum 5000 overnight. You've gotta endure the test that life is presenting you. Okay, you've got to go through the process to really understand what that next level takes. Because guys, chairman, rank is not just, it's not, it's not a rank, guys. It's not even about the money. I'm at Platinum 2000. It's not about the money, guys. It's about, the, it's not only about the responsibility, but it's about the way that you make other people feel. Okay, Platinum 2000 is, is, is a 75 person minimum organization. You know, that's a, that's a hell of a difference from 30 people, platinum 1,000. That's a hell of a difference from, you know, platinum 600, 12 people. That's a hell of a difference from platinum 150, three people. So understand, this is a responsibility. It's, it's not just, chairman isn't just a title. It's, it's an obligation. It's a duty. It's a responsibility. So when you guys commit to going chairman, understand what that means. And I'm going to show you guys the information right now. I'm just kind of setting the tone right now. But I'm going to go ahead and share some information that is going to help you Get to that next level. Guys, building the business is simple. I'm not going to say it's easy, but it's simple. And once you understand the skill sets that it takes to master, to go chairman, it's simple. Okay? It's just about doing it every single day. It's about doing the things consistently. It's not about intensity. It's about consistency. That's the one thing that Jason Brown always talks about. I always go to him. You know, you ask him a question. Yo, Jason, what's the secret? Consistency. Consistency. Show up. Show up to grow up. Hop on these calls. Don't make excuses. Make it happen, right? If you're not where you want to be in life, you're making excuses, period, period. Make it happen. Show up to grow up. So I want to go ahead and get into this. I don't know why I keep checking my phone. Everything is on the computer. Um, wow, 14 people. This is, the, this is like the most we've had on this call. Who else is on here? Awesome, guys. I so appreciate you guys. Um, I'm recording this call. So whoever is on your team that's not on this call, maybe they had to work or whatever, because I know there's like almost 30 people in this group chat and there's like 14 people. Talk to the people that were on this call. Say, hey, you know, you missed out on some valuable information because, guys, I'm about to share my screen with you. Okay. Um, I've been working and I've been kind of quiet about it. Not really because I've kind of told a couple people. Um, <laughs> so some of you guys know what I'm going to go over to a certain degree. But let me go ahead and share my screen. And guys, I'm just going to say this. Y'all are in for a treat. I actually shared this with a couple people. Um, I actually sent this over to, I don't know if you guys know who Christian Dukes is. He is a Platinum 2000 in iMarkets Live. He got started in January. I think it was like January, December. So it's been like 100, 120 days. I think he said that he's been in IML. So you can calculate that time. Anyways, I had a really, really deep, intimate amazing conversation with him on Monday earlier this week. We had a, about an hour and a half conversation and we just, I was just drilling him with questions. I was like, yo bro, this, this and that, this, this and that. And I recorded the whole conversation. I was like going back through the notes, all these things. He's been phenomenal and kind of to edify him. So you guys understand why this information is so powerful. He not only was working with Alex Morton um, very closely in his previous company, but he's also very close to Jason Brown and Matt Rosa, uh, chairman 500s in the company. He's right out here in Arizona, about a 30 minute drive from me. So being able to leverage and have that uh, communication and relationship with individuals like Christian Dukes is really, really powerful. And again, guys, all the information that I get, I just want to bring that back to you guys. Because guys, as leaders, I'm, you know, you always want to be learning. You always want to be growing, but you want to be growing in the right areas. You want to be learning, you know, certain skills that are going to help you get to where you're trying to go. Does that make sense? Because like chairman, 
like I said, it's a responsibility, but it takes certain skill sets for you guys to understand, you know, what it means to become a chairman. Okay. Um, so I want to kind of go into that and the conversation that we had, I'm going to just kind of briefly say this, that we had on Monday earlier this past week, he was saying some information that I had a phone call, uh, like a one-on-one -on -one phone call with Matt Rosa about four months ago. And this is the part that's kind of trippy. That's kind of crazy is, you know, when somebody's ready to go to the next level, when they actually take the information that they're receiving and they go apply it because guys, IML, it's right there for you. The trading information is right there for you. It's not a lack of, res of resources. It's about, a, it's about being resourceful and the majority of people, that's why the 1% are the 1% because they take information, they follow instructions and they apply it. They execute. They don't dwell on making decisions. They do it. Okay. So there's all this information in front of you. I'm about to share some more information with you. Okay. That's going to help you grow, for, uh, grow up for your opportunity, grow up for where you're trying to go. It's about you guys taking advantage of what's in front of you and actually applying it. So to share this story, I had a phone call with Matt Rosa about four months ago and he basically said the exact same thing that Christian told me on Monday. And I was, when he said it, I was just like, Whoa, uh, who, like who told you this? And he was like, Oh, Matt Rosa did. And I was like, no way. Like, I had a call with Matt Rosa like four months ago and he told me this exact same lineup. And what's crazy is I never did it. Um, I was stubborn. I was doing my own thing. And that's the thing guys that I want to say right now. A lot of us are going to build this business in our own way. Just trust me when I say this, don't try to reinvent the wheel. The wheel is already made and it's functioning just fine. Just plug into a system. Okay. Um, I've had an ego. Like I know I have, I'm, I'm very stubborn when it comes to doing like things. I'm the oldest in my family. I don't know if it's like the oldest thing, but I'm always trying to be in control and, and, you know, have my own thing, have my own system. And like, I recognize that. And I was like, yo, Abby, you got to humble yourself. So I'm being vulnerable and transparent with you guys to understand, like I've been there. Okay. And you have to humble yourself and say, look, you don't have all the answers. You've never even gone where you're trying to go. Learn from those that have what you want, do what they do, follow instructions. You'll get what they get every single time. So Chris Derrick, some of the other things that I actually want to go over with you um, is basically Chris Derrick is actually doing a couple of calls throughout the week. I want to be giving you guys those calls so you guys can put people on them. So before I do that, so guys, just understand, I hope everybody's taking notes. This call is going to be a little longer just because of the information that I'll be going over, but it's recorded and we can always go back and rewatch it because guys, you're going to want to. Um, I'm not the end all be all, but I have information that the best of the best, the elites have been using and applying and getting phenomenal, sustainable, and even elevating results that again, I want to share with you. So more of the story, follow instructions, um, listen to those that have what you want. I'm not the end all be all, like I said, but I'm going to show you how to smash P600, smash P1000, smash P2000, because that's what I've done. You know, I'm not going to tell you guys to do anything or, you know what I mean? Like I've never done myself. And I can show you how to go P2000. And I'm pretty sure, pretty damn sure, as if enough people go P2, I'll probably be chairman. And it's just duplication from there. Because once somebody does it, everybody can do it. Because it's just duplication. Um, you guys don't have to just learn from me. You can go out and learn from other people. That's exactly what I did. I was constantly learning. But when somebody had information in front of me, I was like, yep, I'm going to listen. I'm going to shut my mouth and I'm going to take notes. So that's the mentality that I've always had. That's how I was able to hit P600 in like 30 days, P1000, you know, right after that. And then my journey from P1 to P2000 was I was really stubborn. I didn't listen to anybody. I like kind of like diverted from what I used to do was being in phase one, always bringing in new blood. And I'm going to share this with you guys really quick because I want to give you that background. But the reason why um, I actually hit P2000 was because I did home events. You know, for 10 months, I was P1000 and it took me 45 days to go P2000. And I was like, and I look back and I was like, what'd you do differently? Home events. So that's another thing too, guys, that we got to go over on this call is if you're not doing home events consistently every single week, I'm sorry guys, but it, the likelihood of you going chairman is very slim because tell me one chairman in iMarkets Live that not only doesn't know the presentation, but doesn't do home events. Everybody doesn't. Every single chairman Every single chairman knows how to do the presentation effectively and they do home events every single week. And not only that, but they teach to teach. They teach other people how to teach other people, how to teach other people to do the exact same thing. Okay. So that's what we're on this call to do. I'm not just teaching you guys. I'm teaching you guys how to teach other people, how to teach yourself, how to do this. So you can teach other people. That's duplication. That leads to momentum. I hope we're all on the same page. Hope we're all clear. Um, but I hit P2000 in like 40, 45 days from doing home events every single week, twice a week. And I, I showed up regardless if any of my team showed up 
if anybody, you know, any of the, any of our guests showed up, there was times guys, everybody on this call, you're going to experience this. You're going to have no shows. You're going to have one person. You're going to have nobody, like nobody. We went through a period, everybody in Arizona, you know, this, there was periods where we had two more moments every single week and there was nobody, 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 one person, two person, nobody, nobody, nobody. The Tuesday right before Vegas. Okay. In March, um, there was about 20 plus 25 people that came to that event. Close out the room. Okay. I had P2000 on Friday in Vegas. One of the most surreal moments of my life. And I looked back and I said, it was consistency. It was persistence. It wasn't giving up because I knew that in a short period of time, it was only 45 days. When you look back, it's like, that's not a lot. That's not a long time. It's just consistency, right? Good things will happen. And it's about pursuing the vision. Consistency is seeing it. It is your vision, seeing it all the way through. That's what I was good at. That's what I was like, yo, guys, like, regardless if anybody shows up, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Boom. It happened. And that's what I want you guys to all understand and read for yourselves. Guys, last perspective uh, piece. There's some people out here in Arizona that, got, that just got started about two, three months ago. They started to do their first home events within their first 30 to 60, 90 days. It took me over a year to do my first home event. Look how long it took me to hit Platinum 2000. You guys can hit Platinum 1000, Platinum 2000 in less time. I'm trying to help you guys expedite your progress, but you can't, you can't get there unless you make it happen and you stop making excuses and you just do it. So if somebody says, go do out, you know, if you want to go chairman, go do home events. I'm not going to tell you guys what to do, but I'm going to say, if you want to go chairman, you should probably do home events. If you want to go chairman, you should probably communicate. If you want to go chairman, you should probably show up to the calls. If you want to go chairman, you should probably be on time because what are some chairman qualities? They're prompt. They're ready to go. They're coachable. They're open-minded. They're consistent. They don't make excuses. So everybody on this call that's actually serious about going chairman, understand what it, what it takes to go chairman. And it's not overnight. It's over time. It takes time. Just like with trading, it takes time. Don't ever compare yourself to other people. So I don't want to get into this because I'm excited. Okay, so I created a Google Doc. I know I've created a Google Doc before, but I was just like, that was all over the place. It wasn't really effective. Most people wasn't, weren't using it. I know that if you guys use this, um, it's going to be very, very effective. Let me just break this down before I go into any more stories. Okay, so this first part, the weekly schedule. So I hope you guys can see this. Um, the weekly schedule, basically this is all the calls, whatever, throughout the week. And I'm going to break this down into detail. So Christopher Derrick is doing – Hold on, my computer's like freezing. One sec. Okay, cool. Chris Derrick is doing calls, four calls a day, Monday through Friday. I've got the confirmation from him. Monday through Friday at 3, 5, 7, and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can convert those times with whatever time zone you're at. I just thought that, that was consistent. We'll just keep them Eastern Standard Time on the schedule. Instead of, I know there's like 10 people in 10 different places. We'll just keep it Eastern Standard Time. You can convert it um, for yourself. Who is talking? We're about to. Okay, yes. Okay, cool. So, Christopher Derrick's I'm a webinar overview. He's doing basically, this is where you guys get to invite people to calls. Okay, you get to invite people to calls, new people, and we're going to show you how to do the invite. Okay, um, because that's it. I'm going to build, guys, but you are in for a treat with what I'm about to break down for you, the information I just received. So, Christopher Derrick actually uh, had the privilege of being able to drive him to one of the home events we had this past week listening to him in the car i was like mind blown i was like yo bro you are dropping some mad nuggets right now i can't handle it so let me just break this down he's doing calls monday through friday at those times four different times throughout the day um guys just to give you this perspective here i told him i was like chris you know i'm having trouble trying to get you know other people to do three-way calls with me blah 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 you know you know what should i do and basically he said i don't even need to do three-way calls i wouldn't listen to that completely you will still have to do three-way calls. Some people won't be ready to get signed up, but let me just show you how effective this was. I only talked to one person that day, just one person. The only person that I talked to, I actually ended up inviting him out to one of his calls. He got on his call. I invited him effectively. And uh, after the call, he actually messaged me first. He was like, yo, that was an awesome video, um, blah, blah, blah. And I, we were talking. I said, you know, what'd you like best? Just, you know, following up. Basically, more of the story, he was like, I'm ready to get started almost immediately. And I was like, wow, that was crazy. Like, no follow-up necessary. He was ready to get started. He had to work that afternoon. So I was like, you know, let's set up a call tomorrow to help you get set up. We set up the call. He got started. My boy Jordan, I don't know if he's on this call. Oh, he's not. Let me send him the link. Actually, you know what? He's, sorry. He's, he's working. I forgot. It was a spasm of it. Anyways, 
he actually got started the next day. So guys, he jumped on the call, saw the call, he got started the next day. So that's like, guys, I only talked to one person. It wasn't like I talked to 10 and one person out of 10 jumped on. It was like the first person I talked to jumped on the call, got signed up the next day. So if you use the invite and you understand how effective it is and you plug people in, into these calls, I don't know, maybe you could get, you can get people signed up. I don't know. You, you got to do it. You got to do it consistently. So Monday through Friday, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 7 p.m., 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Christopher Derrick and like three other people, top individuals in the company are throwing down um, calls, webinars for IML. And then you've also got Monday through Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, IML corporate overview webinars. I actually do one of them typically on Thursdays. Um, at that time, so you have, you have the ability to plug people into that call as well. Um, cool, let me go down the list. Sunday, 10 p.m., eat. guys, all of these calls you should have in your calendar. Like, I have all of these calls in my calendar, okay? You guys are gonna have access to this, but I would still have an alert in your calendar so you know when all the calls are, okay? Um, I have it all in my calendar, I have it written down in my, you know, in my thing, I know when the calls are. Chairmen are organized, okay? There's no such thing as, uh, what is it? You know, an unorganized entrepreneur is no entrepreneur at all, okay? You have to stay organized. You have to be on top of your stuff. So the seven-figure mentorship call is every single Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 7 p.m., you know, out here in the, uh, on the Pacific Coast. Guys, not only should you be on the call, but you should be promoting these calls to your team. And I'm going to break down why promotion is so important. So every Sunday, seven-figure call is on. Um, so Sunday, right now, the leadership call at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're not going to we're not going to no longer do these every single week. I think for right now, we'll do them on a biweekly basis. So you guys have some time, you know, you can go through your stuff, you can really like tap into what you need to be doing. And we'll check in and really roll through this every, you know, two weeks. Um, how do you guys feel about that? Just like type in the chat, like, whatever. How do you guys feel so far about what we're going over? Is anybody alive? Does anybody like him? What? Sindel's right here. She gives me a thumbs up. Yes. Okay. Cool. I appreciate Hassan and Tony for what's <laughs> Okay, cool, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Perfect. So I appreciate you guys. Awesome. So the Sunday Leadership Call, I know this can be a lot. I don't want to overwhelm people. You know, I want you guys to stay focused on what your goals are, you know, plugging into IML. Um, trading because that's what we're all here for building the business is literally just a bonus but I don't want you guys to stress about it I want you guys to have fun with this it really is fun like when you start to meet people like Cindy is over at my place and you guys can see her she's over at my place like right now and we've been chilling like she came to Cali with me and Alex like what you guys get to travel with your team like that's the coolest thing when you get to that point like yo yeah I travel I go hang out with cool people we make money together like we eat some bomb food like thank you bob and chrissy like we had some bomb food this weekend like yo like that's the coolest part it should not be stressful it should be fun so i want to make this fun for you guys and really go through this so um yeah bi-weekly okay this is the coolest part that's why i said you know last saturday team call was on saturday because we have a new schedule this is the thing that that matt rosa told me to do four months ago and i never did it christian jukes was like yeah you know this is my schedule throughout the week you know, we do Monday motivation, we do Tuesday network marketing, and he was going through this. And I was like, well, Matt Rosa told me to do that four months ago, and I never did it. That's when you know somebody is not ready to go to the next level because they're given information from a top leader, from somebody who has what they want, and they don't apply it, okay? So that was me. I'm, I'm humble enough to, like, admit to that. I did not apply it when he first told me. And when, he, when Christian told me that on Monday, I was like, yo, I need to implement it now. This is a sign. This is a reason. So the way that, you know, he kind of talks about it, and I want to hear how you guys feel. I kind of talked about it yesterday on the Saturday team call, but I know not everybody was on that call. So I'll briefly go through it. If you guys have questions, just hit me up. Um, you know, everybody should have my number. If you don't, just ask me. So Monday motivation call. Basically, this is a call for everybody. And I want to state the purpose because I don't like just doing things just to do them. Like, I want to have an objective. I want you guys to know the purpose behind why we do what we do in the first place. Because I think when you have reasoning, when you have a why, you know, behind what, you know, why we do what we do, there's like more meaning to it. Does that make sense? So the Monday motivation call, this is for everybody. And this, the, per the whole purpose of doing these calls in the first place is not only to just add value, 
but it's to build belief in people and it's to build culture. Guys, I'll give you this brief story. I told it on the call yesterday, but for those of you that were not on the call, I remember when I joined the women's rugby team um, in college, I remember, you know, I was looking actually for the softball booth. It was like the day before the first day of classes. And I was a little freshman. I was like, you know, small, I was so small. And I remember walking in like the gym and they had the rugby booth like right here. And I was walking past and I remember like this big stocky girl, she literally like pulls me into the booth, um, into the table. And she was like, hey, you know, you look super athletic. You know, you should come out and do tryouts for the rugby team. And I was like so intimidated already. I was like, no, you know, I'm okay. Like I'm good. She was like, no, you should really come out. Like it's, you know, it'll be fun. Like just, just try it. You don't have to do it. Just try it. Softball didn't start till the spring. So I was like, what the heck? I'll go out, whatever. I went out, brought my cleat. They were like softball cleats. So they weren't even like appropriate. So bad, dude. I had to change into my, my tennis shoes. Anyways, I got my ass kicked. I got my ass kicked. But you know why I stayed? Because of the culture. The culture. The people were contagious. I loved the energy. I loved the, the, the environment that I was in. I felt good. I felt welcome, right? That's what we want to create here. That's why I stayed for three years. Guys, I had so many undocumented concussions. It's not even funny. But why did I stay? Because of the, the people, guys. The people make the experience. You know, IML, like, people don't buy into IML. Like, yes, it's a great concept. Like, it sells itself. But they buy into you as an individual, okay? And when you introduce them to the people, the culture on the team, like, that just makes this even more of a memorable and exciting experience. Okay, so for example, guys, when we invite somebody into a chat, I was talking to uh, Chrissy, not to put you on the spot, but like, for example, we were talking the other day, and she remembers when she was added to the chat, and everybody welcomed her. She felt good. It was like, wow, you know, this is exciting. Like, it's a new experience. Like, I'm glad to be here. Like, everybody is welcoming me. Guys, that's a real thing. Somebody's first experience, somebody's first impression is everything. So for example, imagine if you're just getting started, and we, and we put you into a chat. How would you feel? If, you know, like, we put you in the chat, I welcomed you, and, like, other, one other person welcomed you versus, like, 20 other people welcomed you, right? You feel good. We want to – guys, it's, this is all about culture, okay? Build the right culture. That's so, so important. So one thing I want you guys to keep, keep in mind, because not don't just do this for, like, you know, my people that I bring on, Sindel's people that she brings on, Bob's people that he brings on. Do this as if you were me, as if you were Bob, as if you were Sindel, right? You just brought in your new person. Um, you just brought on your new person. You would want everybody to welcome them. I know I'm like really diving deep into this, but it's so important. It's so important that you understand that. Okay, so when somebody gets brought into the chat, let's build that culture, guys. Like watch your growth grow. Watch your business, your organization grow when you become culture oriented, customer driven and system dependent. Okay, watch what happens. So when we welcome people into the chat, welcome them. It's, it, does, it doesn't take very long to say welcome. Emoji. It's very simple. So that's the purpose of these calls, guys. For example, the motivation call is literally for everybody. And the cool part is, guys, these are only like going to be like 10 minute calls. Nothing crazy. Like I said, the whole purpose is to add value. Okay. Build their belief. Because when you see other people winning, it's not just me on the call. Like every Saturday, it's literally just me. And I was like, hey, you got to do something different because people need to know that not just Abby is succeeding. Other people in the company are winning and not just other IBOs, other customers. So I'm going to show you guys why this is so significant. So the motivation call, the network marketing call, and the traders call are only going to be like 10 minutes long. Okay. So the motivation call, anybody, if you want to, if you want to jump on there, just message me like, yo, Abby, I want to do the motivation call on Monday. You know, here's the topic. This is what I'm going to go over. Cool. Awesome. I got you locked in for Monday. Perfect. We all have to be promoting for this call. And I'll talk about promotion in just a second. So Tuesday network marketing call. These are for IBOs and serious builders. So guys, everybody that's on this call should be prioritizing the Tuesday call. Again, 10 minutes. Who has 10 minutes to jump on and build, them, and build themselves as leaders? Be around the culture. Guys, keep people around the campfire. They won't leave. They're not going to want to leave. They're already motivated to stay. You know what I mean? When you're around good people, why would you leave? When you're making money, why would you? It just makes sense, okay? So the Tuesday Network Marketing Call, um, typically, you know, I might come on here. I've been talking to a lot of other top leaders that I'll be able to get them. Hey, bro, can you jump on for like 10 minutes and like spit some nuggets when it comes to building the business? Yeah. Like guys, I can get other people to hop on. So that's going to be extremely, extremely powerful because that's going to help you along your journey and not just watch a video, but you'll see other people in the industry kicking ass 
when it comes to building the business and seeing how simple it really is. Again, guys, we can get discouraged along the way. We're going to have setbacks. So it's good to have these calls like this on a weekly basis and be able to jump in for a couple minutes and listen to other people, build, build your belief, add value to what you're doing. And really, again, just build that culture. And then Wednesday's call, all of these are the same time. Um, the traders call, right? So the traders call. Now this is not where we, you know, we come on here, we give you guys signals or setups. That's not, that's taking away from iMarkets Live. We, we want to be system dependent, right? So if we're on here, you know, we're trying to tell people, you know, what to trade, things like that. They're not buying, like guys, they're not paying you to learn how to trade. They're paying iMarkets Live. What I'm going to break down on how we're going to do this call, again, 10 minutes. So for example, so say for example, um, you know, Mason, you have somebody on your, on your team and they're kicking ass and trading. You're like, yo, Abby, like my, my guy or my girl, you know, they just, they just made like a hundred bucks this week. They've only been in for about a month. Dope. Like get them connected with me and see if they want to hop on the call for like five, 10 minutes and like kind of give their, their journey so far, their testimony. So you're shouting other people out. You know what I mean? Like when, like how guys, how would you feel if I was like, yo, do you want to like come on the call on Wednesday? Like I heard you've been doing really well with trading. Like you want to come on and like kind of share your journey. Like what have you, like what have you used the most with IML? Like, has the Academy helped you? How's the Academy helped you? You know, who's your favorite IML TV educator? The whole purpose is not only to shout other people out, customer recognition, also show other people that other people are winning, not just me, because I'm typically on the calls, but it also builds their belief, guys. It builds that culture and it plugs people back into iMarkets Live. If somebody comes on here like, yo, like I'm, I'm crushing it with the harmonic scanner and most people don't use the scanner, they're probably going to go back and use the scanner. Does that make sense? So you're plugging people back into the tools. You're plugging people back into the system on how to actually learn how to trade. So again, guys, I don't want these calls to be like super long. That's just from past experience. Like what Christian was saying was basically, you know, people's attention spans aren't, you know, they're, they're not as long as 20, 25 minutes. Okay. It's like 10, 15 minutes long, if most 20. So we want to keep these calls to the point, short, sweet to the point, um, and have different people come on. So it's not just me. So you guys see that other people are, are succeeding. Um, and then last, and then again, like, you know, like I said, if you guys have anybody on your team who has been kicking ass in trading, um, network marketing, or just wants to add value on the motivation call, just message me. We'll talk about it and, um, we can lock it in if it's appropriate. And then, so just to reiterate, the trader's call is not where you come on. I'm just going to say this. The trader's call is not where you come on and you share your strategy, period. We're not trying to teach other people. People can go in and watch the IML TV educators. There's over 50 educators on IML TV. You can find your own educator on there. You can talk about your experience. You can talk about your journey. You can talk about the tools and the services that you've been using to, again, plug people back into iMarkets Live, which is where you're going to learn how to trade, not me. You're not going to learn how to trade for me. I'm going to guide you. I'm going I'm to I'm show you the way. I'm going to give you that direction. But I'm not here to teach you how to trade. And these calls are really just to build that belief, build the culture, and add value on how you can become a better trader by learning from my mistakes, my, my journey, and what I've been doing. I hope that makes sense. And then lastly, Tuesday, Thursdays, at least out here in Arizona, we're doing local events every, every Tuesday, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Um, what I'll just say again, guys, I hit Platinum 2000 because of home events. I don't know a single individual that's a chairman that's not doing home events, that doesn't know the presentation. So I highly, highly, not even like I highly recommend, if you're serious about going chairman, before the end of the call, like I want to go over and talk about who's doing home events in their area and what is the consistent day that you're going to be doing them on. So really quick, just like type in the chat, like how do you guys feel so far? Like how do you guys like this lineup? Do you like it? Do you want to change it? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and also, actually, let me talk to you guys really quick. For the time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, are you guys cool with changing it to 6 p.m.? Or sorry, yeah, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time? to make it easier for people. Cause I know that people, when they come through like 5 PM, it's a little difficult. Um, when it comes to hopping on the calls, cause people are kind of like in traffic, they're doing their own thing. How do you guys feel to changing it from eight to 9 PM Eastern standard time, 6 PM Pacific standard time? Perfect. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and change it. Um, you guys like the schedule. Awesome. 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 Again, guys, this is all just to, like, we have to have a system in order if, if we want to build this thing in the right way. And it's about coming together and collaborating. Collaboration is the biggest thing when it comes to 
um, you know, building big organizations. When you, when leaders can take other people and, and bring them together and their income isn't dependent on that other individual and they all come together and work together in a cohesive manner, striving for a bigger goal, um, that's when big things happen. And that's what we're doing with this chat. So it's not just about, it's not just about me guys. Like I, I kind of put this together, but I want you guys' feedback. Like I want to make sure everybody's on the same page so that we work together to help everybody's business grow, everybody grow as a leader and make this fun. Guys, I don't want you guys stressing about this. Building the business is like, you know, it's good stress. It's like, it's like kind of like a rush. Like, oh man, like, you know, somebody left my business or yo, like I just got somebody come back on. Guys, I had two people leave my chat this week. The chat that I have, the updates chat. Um, what's crazy is I had two more people at it. It's like the universe is clearing out the wrong people and adding the new ones. So I wasn't even worried. I was like, yeah, the right people are coming in and they're studs, dude. Like they're studs, like they're amazing. So don't ever worry about the people that are leaving that may not be active. It doesn't matter. They don't matter. Just focus on the people that are paying attention. Focus on the people that are showing up. That's why I want to know like who's showing up to these calls. So I know who to pay attention to guys. I'm going six figures this year. I'm going chairman. Who else is going chairman? Who else is running? I'm running with the runners. I'm only going to focus on those that are focused, that are paying attention. Like that's just the fact of the matter. And that's what you guys have to have for yourself. Who are you going to pay attention to? If you've already hit P150, show the next couple people that join your business, how to get their two and three and how to go P150. I'm about to break that down for you guys. So I hope everything makes sense. I know that was like a lot of detail, but I definitely want to allow you guys to understand why we do what we do in the first place. So it's not just like, yeah, cool. Hop on these calls. It's like, no, there's like a purpose. So all the upcoming events, this next one, this is a complete file, guys, by the way. It's a complete file. It's a shareable link. I'm going to be sending it out in the Chairman Run chat for you guys. This is something that you guys um, should be relaying over to your team. So this document will be updated almost on a daily basis. Say, so, say, so cool. The next event is Tuesday. Um, we are still going to have the event at my place. So if anybody's in Arizona, definitely have them come through. But all the local, all the events that are going on, I'm going to have updated in here. So, you're, so we're not like, okay, yeah, you know, this event's happening here, this event's happening here. So it's not like a bunch of messages in the chat. It's like one document, all the events are going on here. If you know people in Scottsdale, if you know people in Tempe, if you know people in Utah, right? If you know people in Michigan, if you know people, you know, in these areas in California, all these things, you know, like I just found out there's a, there's a top event in Philadelphia. There's a top event, you know, in Utah with Jason Brown and uh, Brandon Boyd. So I'm going to be in here updating, you know, all of this information for you guys. So cool. I hope this will help guys. The other thing too, actually, let's do this really quick. Um, I know there's people on this call who like just message in the chat, like when's your home event date? Oh, wait, let me come back here. Sorry, guys. When's your home event date? The day and the time. Like, what day are you guys going to stay consistent with? Not to put it, like, I am going to kind of put people on the spot because, like, only speak up if you want to go chairman you're serious. If nobody speaks up, then I won't write it. And it's cool. Because I don't want to force anybody to do anything. You got to be motivated to do it. But I know that home events work. I'm not going to put the, I'm not going to put the location on here unless it's like, like, look, Brandon Boyd, he already had the location on the flyer. So it's right here. Okay. Um, you know, for, if it's like a home event, somebody's home, like I'm not going to put it, but if it's like an actual like location, then I'll put it on here. So nobody, okay. One person, who is it? Every other Saturday. Okay, cool. And I already, I think we already talked. Yeah. Got you on here. Yeah. Bob and Chrissy, we got you on here. Okay. Awesome. Arizona people, we got you on here. Anybody else? Okay. Well, if you change your mind, you want to put your location on here so that we all can contribute. We can all like participate and have like locations because we're going to go through the dates later. Abby. All right, cool. Sandy, I will talk. Um, but I'm telling you guys like having events every single week, every Thursday, we got you on here. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Safe. Um, yeah. Biggest thing is just consistency guys every single week. As a leader, you've got to show up and you've got to be on time and you've got to communicate. Like if I didn't do home events, how could I expect you guys to do them? You know what I mean? You know, I, uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is a list of, I don't know if you guys can see me, a list of 250 people uh, front and back. How could I tell you guys to write a list of 250 people if I didn't already do it? No, we got to do what we preach about. So 
hopefully you guys all understand this. Hopefully, if you want to go chairman your series, you start taking this seriously and doing home events on a weekly basis and just message me and we'll update um, this file so that everybody can see what's going on. Like this is all a collaboration thing. We want to help everybody out, have some kind of contribution moving forward to help everybody get to where they're trying to go. So all the upcoming events is right there. Uh, let me actually go through this first. So guys, chairman, it takes certain skill sets to go to get to chairman. Um, everybody should have this document. If you don't already, I'm going to put it in the file. So everything is just like right here. All the skill sets that you really need to understand are right here, okay? Prospecting, the invite, the exposure, the follow-up, edification, promoting, presenting, closing, and rolling on. Guys, there's so many different skills, it's, it's not even funny. But it's not about understanding them overnight, it's about understanding them over time, okay? I didn't get good. Who knew me before I got started with iMarkets Live? You knew, you know that I was not this out, like, I'm not even really outgoing, like, I'm kind of, like, shy and, like, things like that, but you know, like, I wasn't the most, like, look at me, like, I know how to talk, like, I was so scared to go out and talk and do my first presentation, I remember there's been a couple times where I was supposed to present, there was, like, 75 plus people in the room, I was supposed to actually introduce for Christopher Derrick, and I walked off in front of, like, 80 people, it was actually really, like, upsetting, like, I cried afterwards, it was so bad. But I got over it. I learned. I was like, yo, Abby, like, you need to know your shit. Like, you need to know the presentation. Guys, it's okay. It's okay. Like, we're all going to mess up. It's not the end of the world. It actually shows that you're trying. If you're not failing, you're not trying. Period. Um, I've walked off multiple times. Like, now I kick ass at the trading. Or now I kick ass at the, present, at the presentation. Sorry, I'm like losing my words. Now I know that I can do the presentation. And not only can I do the presentation, but I know how to – invite. I know how to do the presentation. I know how to do the exposure. I know how to follow up. I know how to edify. Okay. I know how, I know how to have a conversation with people. I know how to promote for things. I know these things. I know how to close. I know how to launch somebody. I know these things because I've been doing this for 18 months and I understood that there's certain things that, you know, people need to understand in order to go chairman. I studied these things and I didn't have a document like this guys. I put the best of the best videos right in this document for you guys to go through and learn how to prospect, how to invite, how to expose people effectively, how to follow up, all of these things, okay? And even more videos for you guys to tap into. I never had something like this. I had to go out and find them. Sometimes they didn't even have videos yet. Like some of these videos, they didn't, like they didn't have when I got started. You can look at the date. So all of these things are right here. Again, guys, it's not about a lack of resources. It's about being resourceful. And it's just about doing the damn thing. I'm showing you all this information. You know when somebody's ready to go to that next level when they start applying the information that's in front of them. That's what it takes. So all the information is right here. It takes certain skills to go to the next level. You guys all want to go chairman, but you're not doing chairman things. Cool. Then we either have to decrease your goals or increase your work ethic and your skill set. Because if, you're, if your skill set and your work ethic do not match your goals, something's got to give. You gotta, you've either got to decrease your goals, okay, or increase your work ethic and skill sets. That's just the name of the game. So every single day, I don't take a day off. I'm serious about this. And if you guys are, if anybody on this call is complaining, they don't like their, they don't like their job, they don't like their circumstances, you know, they're not making enough money, they're living paycheck to paycheck, blah, 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 the list goes on, and you're not doing these things, you have nothing else to blame but yourself at the end of the day. It's about making it happen. You're either making it happen or you're making excuses. Which one are you doing? Okay, so everything is right here. The skill sets to master document is all right here for you guys to tap into. Alex also has a YouTube file with all the videos in order. If you don't have that file, scroll up in the chairman run chat. It's like right there. Or if you can't find it for whatever reason, just message me. I'll message it to you. You know what? I actually put it on here. I'll put it at the end or at the top so you guys can just access all the videos. So this is here for all of you guys. Um, Okay, cool. This is actually, which part do I want to go over next? Okay, let me ask you guys, how do you guys feel so far? I know this call is like going on. I know that this was going to be a longer call, but how do you guys feel right now with all this information being shared? I yike it. <laughs> cool. All right, awesome. Perfect. So I'm just saying, guys, if you apply it, good things will happen. So I'm going to kind of just run into a little bit of detail uh, with this little part right here. 
because this is gonna this guys this is what's gonna be game changing for you okay so this is the pipeline checklist this is how you have to invite now before I go through this I want to actually break down something where is it at hold on okay one second I'm gonna find the one document that I have um, because this actually breaks down Hold on one second, let me find it. Oh yeah, I think it's actually here. Hold on, so many people are like talking. One second. Um, I actually have it right here. Yeah, here we go. Let me actually go over this first. So this is the chairman checklist. These are some of the top things that you guys should be doing on not only a daily basis, but a weekly basis. If you're not keeping track of what you're doing, how could you ever understand how much progress or how much growth that you're having? So before I break this down, the checklist itself, I want to break down something. Guys, if you're taking notes and you haven't written anything down at all, this is something you guys should break down um, right now. So the one thing out of the entire call, this is probably the most important thing that I'm going to go over. Okay. You have to identify where you are in life. Okay. A lot of people just do, 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 or they don't do anything at all. Okay. They do things, but it's not the right thing. Does that make sense? So we have to understand where we are in life. So sometimes we have to like take a step back, reevaluate where we are so we, that we can go forward. Okay. So we can really know like where we are in our, in our current circumstances and how to address maybe our situation so that we can grow from it. Because a lot of times we're just kind of plateauing. We, we stagnate. We don't really know how to move forward. This thing that I'm about to break down to you is something that Christian really um, broke down for me. And I know it's going to help you because it's already helping me. And it, Christian Jukes is a beast. Matt Rosa talks about it. Chris, Chris Derrick talks about it, okay? If they're talking about it, we should probably know it, and we should probably be, probably be implementing it, okay? Again, I'm not going to tell anybody what to do, but if you want to go chairman, everybody in this chat wants to go chairman, I would follow instructions and do what people do so you can get what they get. This is information given to me by a top income earner, and Christian Jukes is actually being mentored by one of the, I think he said it was the number four income earner in this entire industry let that sink in you are taking information from a guy who's being mentored by the number four income earner in this industry here we go here's the information take notes so your goal right now you have to identify who you are when it comes to this not only just in trading but when it comes to building okay there's certain pieces of information when it comes to building okay cool you are either dependent independent, dependable, or you're at that level of what we call freedom, okay? Most people are dependent. And what we want to do, and that's fine, guys, we're resetting right now. We're resetting right now, and we're getting to that next level so we understand and we're aware of what we need to do, okay? So most people are dependent. Now, we want to go from dependent to independent. Now, how do we do that? Awesome. So right here on this page, as you guys can see, I will be taking notes independent all that means is it is that you know how to invite you know effectively how to do these things you know how to effectively invite you know how to effectively do the presentation you know how to effectively follow up okay and you know how to effectively edify edification what what do we say i have that whole document of skill sets to master we have an entire document file that shows you and breaks down how to invite how to present how to follow up how to do the edification right how did I learn how to do the presentation? I studied the presentation. I literally watched. Guys, go back to that, that weekly schedule. There is corporate calls going on every single day of the week. Okay, and if there's not, if nobody's on, go watch a recording. David and Lenita, if you guys don't have the video, does a 17-minute presentation breakdown. So smooth, so fluid. It's like, yo, this guy's a god when it comes to presenting. It's so good. So when you want to learn how to do things in the most effective and efficient way, go study those that do it the best. That's why we learn from Christopher Terry, because he's the best of the best. It's like learning how to play basketball from Michael Jordan. So when it comes to becoming independent, this is, these are the skills that you guys need to learn. So most people, I'm not trying to call anybody out. This is where I was too. Most people on this call are dependent, okay? Unless you can bring people to every single event, Unless you can present at every single event, you just know how to do the presentation. Unless you know how to follow up effectively, unless you know how to edify effectively, there you go. 
You're not depend. You're not independent yet. So your goal within the next week or two is to is to become independent. Guys, it doesn't take very long. Just study the videos, practice the hours that you do in the dark. Okay, you will be praised in public in the light. Right? That's how this works. All like guys, I do more than just like ten presentations on my own a week. I practice them. I still practice them in the car sometimes in the shower. Like when I'm just walking, I'll practice my story. Okay. That's what it's really about. Your story, know your story. So you guys have to know these things and it's not just IML building the business that you have to know these things. Guys, this is, this is networking. This is how you build relationships with people and life is about people who made this water bottle, who made this pen, who made this phone, who made this piece of paper, right? Who made this computer, who made the clothes you're wearing people. Okay. It's all about networking. It's not even about what you know or who you know. It's about who knows you. There's a difference between you, Hassan, you told me this. There's a difference between you knowing Bill Gates and Bill, Ga and Bill Gates knowing who you are. People understand relationships. Okay. So you guys, um, going chairman, become independent. That's your first, that's your first goal. Become independent, know the invite, know how to present, know how to follow up and know how to edify. All the information is in that skill sets to master document. Go through those videos. It's not about being, it's not about getting good, you know, amazing overnight. It's about over time. But take the time for the next two weeks or so and get really, really good at learning this information. Guys, it took me a minute to, to get this down. But once I did, sheesh, I hit P600. I hit P1000 by myself. I literally recruited my whole team. That's how it worked, okay? I'm not saying you guys have to do it all by yourself because – we're a team. We're building together. We're an organization of individuals working cohesively together to a larger goal. We're collaborating. But you guys have to know this part. I know I'm like going really in depth, but I can't stress to you how important this is. Understand where you are and understand what you need to do to get to where you want to go. Most people got to go from dependent to independent. The next part of this is going from independent to a dependable. You know that you're dependable when you know how to train other people to become independent. Guys, I'm not teaching you guys up here. Just, just teach. I'm teaching you how to teach. I'm teaching so that you can go and teach other people how to teach. Does that make sense? Because that leads to duplication. Matt Rosa talks about it all the time. You have to understand how to train others to become independent as well. Because once they're independent, then they can become dependable, right? It's a cycle. It's a process. So once you know, um, once you become independent, your next goal is to become dependable. People need you, right? People need me. People need me and not like it's a good feeling, but we don't want to always be like that. Like Alex Morton, Jason Brown, Matt Rosa, they're not needed. Matt Rosa just took a trip to Hawaii for like a week and a half. His business was probably growing while he was gone. He wasn't needed. He was wanted. Okay. Alex Morton just did an event in Utah. He wasn't needed there. He was wanted. Okay. Does that make sense? So dependable, you are needed at this point from your team. So that's why you need to help as many people as possible. Not only go from dependent to independent, but independent to dependable. So now you have people just like you going around and creating more independent people. Okay. So you know how to train others to become independent. You know how to trade and you know how to trade, not to teach other people how to trade. We don't do that. Okay. I, guys, I'm just going to give you this example. There are people that I know individuals, you'd be surprised that their retention sucks because they go out and they try to teach other people's teams. I got this straight from Chris Bader. Okay. Just understand Teaching other people how to trade is not, is not sustainable. It's not duplicatable. I'm not trying to tell you guys what to do. I'm just telling you what duplicates. It's not about what works. It's about what duplicates. If you want to go fast, go do things on your own. I've been there. You don't go very far. If you want to go far, work as a team and listen to people that have what you want and follow instructions, period, period. So when you know how to trade, it means you understand the services. You have your own trading strategy. You are aware and competent and understand Okay, the foreign exchange market, the cryptocurrency market, whatever market that you're, that you're you know, trying to master, you understand it to a certain degree. You have a foundation built and something to build off of. Because if you're not competent you know, to a certain degree when it comes to trading, that's our market, that's what we're doing. Okay, you don't understand the services. How could you ever like preach this to other people? You know what I mean? You have to at least understand it. And then lastly, you have to know how to close. Guys, I know I can close a room. I've done it before, okay? So I know that I'm dependable. I know how to do these things. So I'm aware of where I'm at. I know how to do these things. And it wasn't overnight. It was over time. So understand where you are on this list and understand the, the things that you have to do in order to get to that part that you're trying to go to. Okay, independence. Chris, Christian Duke said it takes about one or two weeks. 
to really, really start to understand how to effectively invite and do those things. Dependable, that's, that varies. That's individual base. You know, some people may take a couple of weeks. Some people may take a couple of months. It just depends. You know, how consistent are you? How determined and disciplined are you to, to building those good habits, to creating yourself, to becoming, in, to, to becoming dependable so that your team, you know, needs you and you can create other independent people. Now, freedom, that last part is basically when you are wanted, not needed. That means you have, you know, you have people that are not only independent, but a lot of people that are dependable. So you don't have to do all the work. You know, the system, okay, is working for you. The system should be working 10 times harder than you are. So if you're stressing out, you're pulling your hair out, whatever, you're doing it wrong. Okay, you're doing it wrong. You're stressing out for no reason. You should know these things. You should, be know, you should know these skill sets. Um, use the skill sets to master document to master the skills that are listed above. There's other skills in that document that are, I wouldn't say extra. They are necessary to understand, like the launch and the enrollment, things like that. Um, those are necessary. Definitely go through those. But leverage a, a, a higher credibility, somebody who is dependable to, to do those things to start off. So the last thing I have on here is utilize the system, save yourself time, energy, and money. Follow the schedule. Schedules are necessary. Matt Rosa talks about this. Schedules are necessary. That's why we have one. Okay, plug people in, build that belief, add value, and build that culture. And again, strengthen your trading culture. Strengthen what we have going on right here, okay? So I'm going to stop here really quick. How do you guys feel so far? How do, how do you guys feel about that information? Because that was probably one of the most significant parts of this whole thing. I probably should have went over it first, but you know, we're, here we are. Cool. Tony loves it. <laughs> Let's go. Awesome, guys. I appreciate you. Cool. So understanding where you are, where you're trying to go, and what you need to do to get there. So the chairman checklist, I won't really go too much into this. This is actually my personal checklist that I use in order to know, to keep track of my progress and understand where I'm going. I won't tap into it too much because it's going to be right here. Just understand the certain things that you should be doing. You should be posting on social media on a regular basis, things that are relevant. Okay. Don't just talk about trading, like actually talk about, you know, your lifestyle, like your journey, you know, things that you've learned, add value. People like following people that are adding value without trying to take something from somebody. Okay. Um, you're, you're, you know, you're fulfilling the need. You're trying to inspire other people. Um, doing personal development. Don't just do personal development to do personal development to check it off. Actually consciously do personal development. Like I have right here in parentheses, focus on mastering a skill set, a specific skill. So maybe, you know, this week you've got to focus on, you know, inviting, learn the invite, practice it, right? Listen to Matt Rosa, listen, Austin Godsey also has um, an invite video that he does. It's in the thing. You'll listen to it. And you talked about overcoming objections as well. So you can get really, really good at it. Um, that's a life skill, guys. It's not just with IML. It's a life skill, okay? Connect with 20 to 30 new people. If you're building, that's a real thing. Guys, this morning in the airport, we had a flight. We got there at about 4.45, 5 a.m. I sat there for like 40, 45 minutes before our flight, and I connected with 120 plus new people. If you have 40 minutes to build your business, don't, don't tell me it's hard, guys. Working for the next 40 plus years is going to be hard. What kind of hard do you want? Okay, because once you build this thing in the right way, it's going to work for you. And that's the best part about becoming an independent business owner. You have a system to leverage that will get money to work for you. You get to be around amazing people. You get to do amazing shit. Okay, like that's, that's the beauty of this. This is supposed to be fun, but we're connecting with 20 to 30 new people. How many new friends can you make? How many new friends can you make and, and figure out a need in their life? Guys, I'm not just sending out links to people. Go watch this video. Yeah, check this out. No, no, I'm actually talking to people. I'm actually fulfilling a need in their life. You know, this individual is working like crazy hours. Yo, talk to them the next day. Yo, I got to go, but it was amazing having this conversation with you. Blah, blah, blah. Pick up the conversation next day. Yo, man, I was thinking about you and, you know, kind of what we were talking about the other day and I actually want to hook you up with a favor. I actually want to help you out. You know, what are you doing later on today at 730? Or what are you doing tomorrow, Thursday at 730? Take the conversation from there. Go through the invite. Understand how to do this. Um, I try to do at least five exposures a day minimum. So I know my numbers, guys. And I'm breaking this down for you guys to really understand. I know my numbers. So if it takes me, you know, 10 people to get two exposures, how many people do I have to talk to, right? Or You know what I mean? For example. So understand how many people you may have to talk to to get your number of exposures that you want to have. 
um, personal goal checklist. I do fa- I do affirmations and I visualize in the morning my goals, my dreams, whatever I am, you know, chairman, whatever. Um, I have 20 to 30 new Snapchat ads a day. That's a personal goal for mine. Just this morning before I even got on the plane, I had about 12 people add me on Snapchat. I got two phone numbers from people, right? Um, yesterday, I can't even tell you, I did a couple presentations. So just like in one day, I had like two, three presentations down. Bam. Um, personal weekly checklist, you know, three personal signups. Like you guys can read this. You can, you can create your own. But I hope this is helpful for you guys to understand, like have that perspective of have goals that help you, okay? Um, let me see. Let me get the heck out of here. Okay, pipeline checklist. Um, I'm gonna kind of just briefly break this down, and then I'm gonna probably just end it here. So, pipeline checklist, guys. This is basically how you not only invite, but you basically go through the whole process of getting somebody signed up. Okay, we're not trying to force people to sign up, guys. If there's no need to fulfill, you don't know why they need this. Stop trying to force it on people, okay? That's how retention fails. Retention and attrition are the biggest things is why people um, don't grow their business. They kind of just hang around at P600, P1000, okay? You have to understand how to do this in the most effective and efficient way possible. This is why we're doing this call so you guys can have all the information right here. Again, guys, you understand when people are ready to go to that next level when they apply information that's in front of them. I'm not saying, guys, you have to know all this by the end of the night, go through it. I'm going to send out the link like right after this call so you guys can have access to everything on here. Okay. If you have any questions, roll through it with me, but just briefly, this is the pipeline checklist of exposing somebody and, and really going through and, and getting people to, to, to get started. So there's a welcome guide. It's a PDF right here. Um, I actually need to update it because I kind of updated something yesterday. You can have it through here. You can have it via text. I send it out sometimes via text as well. doesn't matter. I honestly would go through it if you haven't already. Guys, you need to take care of your newest person. Their first 72 hours is so, 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 so significant. So significant. So before you actually like start talking to people, you need to know your personal why. You need to have it written down. You need to have it embedded in your mind. Okay, like why are you doing this in the first place? That's, good. That's what's going to drive you um, to keep going when you have setbacks and things like that. Um, have your, you know, have your goals written down, understand why you're doing this and, and where you're trying to go with this. What are your goals? What do you want? Have a list guys. If you are trying to get your two and free, nobody on this call, everybody's trying to build, but like if you have people on your team who are just trying to, for example, um, get their two and free. First thing I I ask them is, you know, what kind of a customer are you? You just trying to trade, you're trying to get your two and free. Do you see yourself building, blah, blah, blah. Cool. They say they want to get their two and free. Awesome. You know, go ahead and uh, we're going to help you get your two and free within the first week because it's possible, guys. You could literally get your two and free like the next day. It's not even hard. It's just about doing it in the right way. Make a list of 25 plus people. Let's go through the invite, right? Very simple. Let's walk through this. Um, If you're building, like all of you guys are, you should make a list of 250 plus people. When I say you should, I mean, if you're going chairman, make a list of 250 plus people. I just made mine, okay, front and back of people. It's not about, okay, cool, guys, I'm going to go ahead and contact all 250 people today. No. It's like, hey, cool, I'm going to go through like 10 people on my list today, 30 people on my list today, and I'm constantly adding more people to my list. So it grows, okay? And I divide that list into local and unlocal people. So if I'm in Arizona, which I am, okay, cool, I have a list of local people. I have a list of unlocal people totaling 250 plus people, right? Sindel just created her list. She's like... She's freaking killing it. <laughs> She's killing it. Um, divide that list into local and unlocal. Then what do you want to do? You want to form and relate them. If you guys don't know what form is, really briefly, I know they talked about it in the um, some of the calls on the master skill sets to master document. Form is basically how you have a conversation with people. Where are you from? Are you in school? O is occupation. Where are you from? Are you in school? R is recreation. What do you like to do for fun? M is motivation. Why are you doing those things in the first place? You know, if money wasn't a factor, would you still be working those 40 hours a week, making $10 an hour? Are you really worth $10 an hour? Like you ask those kinds of questions. You get inside of them. You understand what, what's the issue in their life? What's the problem? If there's no problem that there's no need to fulfill, if they're like happy, they enjoy their life, they're growing. Don't try to push this on them. It's not necessary. Okay. We're trying to help people that need this. Okay. Find the need. Once you find the need, then you can invite them. And sometimes I just have conversations with people um, for a couple of days or even maybe a couple of weeks before I invite them out. I don't do it right away because I want quality people. I want to do this in the right way. 
It's not about rushing to get to that next rank. If you have that mindset, you need to take a step back. It's not about that. It's about the individual. You guys are doing this why? To help people, okay? To grow yourself. Whenever you start getting into the mindset, just gotta, I got to hit that rank. I got to do this. Take a step back. You're doing it for the wrong reasons. It's not about hitting that rank. It's about how to, helping that person. It's about, you know, it's about helping people, making an impact, actually providing a solution for that person. So once you form and you relate to them, okay, and you find the need in their life, you can invite them out. And there's no problem. Like, you guys are going to get no's. It's okay. You're going to get no's. Just don't do it too early because you don't want people to say no. And you could have, you, you know, extended the conversation a little longer to get to know them, not rushed it, and found out really what they needed in their life. So once the invite is appropriate, you invite them. You clear their schedule. Yo, man, you know, I remember, um, you know, maybe I talk to them tomorrow and I say, hey, man, I remember our conversation from yesterday. Or, you know, I got to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey, man, I remember our conversation from yesterday. Blah, blah, blah. I remember you telling me, you know, about how you don't really like your job. You know, I was really thinking about that. And I remember feeling the exact same way. Um, you know, I actually want to hook you up with a favor. What are you doing, you know, later on tonight? What are you doing tomorrow at 730? I give a day a specific time, right? If it's a call, I say the call time. If it's an event, I give the event time. Or if maybe it's a recording, I say, hey, do you have 20 minutes to check out this video? Um, I clear their schedule and I say, if I could show you a way on how I've been able to have financial increase in my life the last several months, would you be open to learning more? You know, hey, maybe they're, they're, um, maybe they're, they're reasoning of why they need this in the first place is because they want to meet new people. Hey, if I could show you a way I've been able to, you know, meet people, amazing people from all over the world, just within the last several months, would you be open to learning more? Yeah, dope. I'm like, yeah, like, you know, what's this all about? Cool. Send them a link or get them invited to an event. Guys, it's so simple. And Matt Rosa does a perfect uh, explanation breaking this down. Austin Godsey does a perfect explanation breaking this down. I have about a seven, eight minute recording of Christian Jukes breaking this down. If you are serious and want the recording, I'll have to text it to you via Telegram, message me after this call. So you either text them, if I would you, you do that whole thing, or you do the Matt Rosa invite where you call them 30, 45 seconds. Guys, go through that invite. If anybody has any questions, this is why the network marketing calls every single Tuesday, we're gonna break like individual things down for new people. So that's why if you have new people jumping in to your organization, they wanna build, they wanna get their two and free, plug them in to those calls so that they can learn how to do the invite. Get me? Cool, then you, then you do the exposure. Event, live call, recording, follow up, what did you like best? Tap back into their why, why do they wanna do this in the first place? They got to pay out their bills. They hate their job. They hate working for $12 an hour. You know, on a scale one to 10, you know, what did you, you know, are you ready to get started? Blah, blah, blah. Um, one, I don't want to do this at all. 10 me, I'm ready to get started right now. I'm at like a seven, eight. Okay, cool. You know, what's stopping you from a 10? You figure out their reasoning. Yo, I actually, you know, I know you have a lot of questions. I've been there. Um, what I actually want to do is go ahead and get you connected with one of my mentors, with one of my good friends. They've been doing this for the last, you know, 18 months, two years, whatever, whoever you want to bring on. Just make sure it's a call with a P600 and above, somebody who is dependable. Remember, we're going back to that, dependable. You know how to close. That's the whole purpose, okay? Don't try to close your own people. Again, iMarkets Live is self-explanatory. Don't try to explain this. It's stupid. Get, use other tools and resources and credibility to, to explain this for you. Don't try to do it. You're not dependable yet, okay? And I'm not trying to call anybody out. I'm just trying to say, like, yo, there's a system to this. There's a process. If you want to do this right, you've got to follow the system. You've got to follow instructions. Everything is laid out for you right here. I'm giving you all the information that you need. Again, you just have to plug in and learn it. Once you learn it, it's just like any skill. You know it. Just like riding a bike, you know it. Nobody's going to take away from you. You know it for life. Okay? Three-way call if necessary. Get them on a call with the P600 and above. Somebody who is dependable. Message me, whatever it may be. Once they're ready to get started, you know, if they're like, maybe you message them after the call and they're like, yo, I'm ready to get started. You know, I'm at a 10, blah, blah, blah. Awesome, bro. Let's go ahead and get you set up. Are you free tomorrow at 2 p.m.? Are you free tonight at 8 p.m. Um, to help you get set up on a call? Get the confirmation, you know, and then once you do the call, everything's right here. You guys can read it. The most important thing that I'll say is not only identifying what kind of customer they are so you know how to help them, but you need to get a P600 plus and above somebody who's dependable on the call whether that's five minutes, like, so, yo, Abby, can you hop on the call really quick? Five minutes. Yeah, I'll probably be able to hop on a call unless I'm on my own call. Just message me beforehand. Um, why did we do that? Not only does it show, like, I'm in a rush, like, I am only can be on here for, like, three, five minutes, 
but it also builds that relationship, understanding that, you know, this is a new concept, brand new. Some people are scared. Some people are like, you know, excited, but you know, nervous at the same time, showing them that you're not only building that relationship, you're not only adding that value, but you're showing them, you know, you're in this for yourself, but never by yourself. You have that extra aid, that extra support system, me, you know, whoever it is, right? And then you send them um, through and run them through the welcome guide, and then you repeat. It's very, very simple. Christian Dukes does a phenomenal job breaking this down in his audio that I have. Seven to eight minutes long. If you want it, message me. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, the last thing that I have on here, you guys can go through this on your own. I just have like a little trader's checklist that I personally use. It's helped me a lot. This is something you guys can use on your own. I always, again, I always refer people back either to directly iMarket Slide or IML Universe that's going to break down what you do in your first 72 hours, 30 days, 60, 90 days, and beyond. So again, IML Trading Checklist. Have you gone through the Academy Basics 1 through 4 and Technical Analysis? Those of you on this call that have not done this, go through this. Have you gone through IML TV, you know, found your favorite one, maybe even three educators? You don't have to do all of them. You don't have to do three. You can do one. My favorite's Chris. Chris Derek. That's really all I watch. Sometimes I watch other people just for perspective, but I understand my strategy. And then again, which tools are your favorite to use, right? So I understand my favorite tools. I like the scanner um, and I use swipe trades and I'll definitely watch the swing trades when they come out. I personally don't use the web analyzer, but I know a lot of people that are kicking ass with it. Um, you don't have to use all the tools. You use the ones that you like the most, okay? And that's just to aid you. Guys, I can catch an extra 100 pips using the scanner. That's an extra 100 bucks for me. Maybe 500 bucks for me, I don't know. Like I'm not trying to name any amount of numbers, but it could literally be whatever you want it to be. Um, as your experience level increases. Okay, cool. Here's the week. So for example, this week, 0430 through 0504. Okay, cool. That's the week. Which tool am I using? The harmonic scanner. Okay, cool. How many pips do I want to catch? 100. That's just my goal. I have it written down on my own trading checklist. How many trades did I enter? Which currency pair was it? Okay, Euro AUD. Um, it was a sell. And I caught, you know, plus 30 pips, right? That's it. And then I put my account growth down here. And then if I have certain confirmations and rules that I use, I write them down. That's it. It's like really, really simple. But this is like right here for you guys. You have the ability to take advantage of this as well. And then you have your weekly gold checklist for your personal trades. Same thing. I have my entire checklist right here, my pip count. Um, my total trades entered, my confirmation and my rules, and my account growth that I want to see that my goal is for every single week. So if you guys want to use it, it is here. You have the ability to use it, um, share it with the team, whatever you want. But this entire file, I will send out in the chairman run chat. Um, you know, tell your team, you know, tell the people that were on this call that are trying to go chairman about this and let them know like, hey, definitely check the chat, get, get in touch with Abby. I did record this call. So you guys have the ability to go back and rewatch it. I know it was pretty long. What time does this even start? 12. Yeah, you guys are troopers, man. I really, really appreciate you guys for hopping on. Um, really quick, like I do want to leave it open for any kind of questions that you guys have. So if you have any questions, go ahead and unmute yourself and uh, ask away. Everybody ready to go, Chairman? Hope you guys are ready. All it is is just applying, guys. All it is is just applying information. Don't get discouraged. That's the last thing I'll say. Don't get discouraged. Follow the system. Follow the system. Go through the information. Follow instructions. Stay true to the schedule. Okay? And just love on people, dude. That's it. Love on people. That's what this is about. It's not supposed to be stressful. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun. Okay? Um, I want to help all of you guys. Everybody should have my number. If you don't have my number, just message me, uh, Facebook Messenger, whatever, Snapchat, Telegram. I don't even know. Just message me. Tell your people. Guys, the biggest thing I'm going to say, if you want to grow your organization, plug them into calls. Plug them into the, to the chats. Make sure that everybody's in the chats. Make sure you know people know what's going on because when you put people around the campfire, they understand the culture. They feel welcome. They feel good. They're not going to want to leave. And it's not like we're like trying to manipulate anybody to stay. It's just like, yeah, why would you want to leave? You're around amazing people, like-minded individuals who all are looking to grow and, you know, be successful, but we're all making money together. And when you plug into the system, you can make money for yourself, um, both with trading and with building. The building side is just a bonus. Like you guys who, you know, need to make extra money, build a business. Like that's what you guys are doing, but 
the biggest thing is like a lot of us, we need that extra $600 a month. That's my goal for everybody on this call is to get you to independent as fast as possible in the most effective way as possible. Um, but get you guys to P600. P600 was life changing income for me, guys. I remember I cried. I remember the day that I hit it. It was March 29th. It's crazy. March 29th, 2017. And I remember I collapsed on the floor. I just, I just started crying because it was like, I remember, like, I'm getting emotional now because, like, I remember the day I hit it and I didn't have any belief in myself, guys. Like, I did not believe that I could actually do that. And it's that feeling that, I don't even know why I'm getting emotional right now. Like, it's that feeling that you have that you want to give to everybody else. I can't even, like, I'm crying right now. It's real, guys. Like, it's a real feeling, and it's, like, a feeling that I want everybody to have because it's not about the money. It's not about the rank. It's literally about the feeling that you're able to give to other people, the responsibility that you have, and the impact that you can have on other people. Like, I can't even tell you the stories – and the relationships I've been able to help and just grow with other people, it's like that feeling is priceless. And I want everybody to experience that. It's so much bigger than the money when you realize that you're a part of something so much greater than yourself. But hope this helped. Gotta, gotta snap myself out of this. Guys, let's go. Let's go, Chairman. Let's run it. Plug people into the system. Get people on calls. I love and appreciate all, all of you guys who have hopped on this call. Stay to the end. You guys are phenomenal. Um, message me anytime. I'm here for you guys. Get me on three-way calls, as many three-way calls as possible, guys. That's how I went. That's how I went. Um, P600, P1000. And P2000 was home events. So just cut your learning curve in half and start doing all of them. So anyways, guys, I love you guys all. I will talk to you later. Have a phenomenal rest of your weekend. Um, for everybody that's on this call around the world, crush your week. Monday's call tomorrow starts at 6 p.m., Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will post the details in the chat. Make sure you tell your team, plug them in. Let's go. I'll talk to everybody later. Bye.